Assalamu alaikum. This is me again talking to you about IELTS. Hi everyone. This video does not come in isolation. It's actually related to the two videos that were before it and two more videos that will be shot in the future inshallah under the hashtag the horse mouth. So make sure you watch all five videos. All five videos are about linking, which is an important feature of IELTS speaking. To know what features we have covered so far under the IELTS speaking, please go back and watch the video linking to blending. In the first video, we talked about linking consonants to vowels and linking vowels to vowels. And in the second video, we talked about linking consonants when the, they have the same sound. And in this third video, we will talk about linking consonants to consonants when they don't have the same sound. Before I start talking about this video, at the end of the previous video, blending, linking to, there was a sentence that I give you and I wanted to find how many blended sounds were in it. And the sentence was, I'll share right now what's so good a video on blending. It has four blended sounds. So today is about linking consonants. So what does that mean? When we have two words back to back, the last sound in the first word is a consonant and the first sound in the second word is a consonant, we link these two words. That is linking two consonants. That's what I mean by it. Before we start talking about linking consonants, we need to know that there are two types of consonants. We have, we have stop consonants and we have continuous consonants. So what are those? Continuous consonants are the consonants that continue making their sounds so long as you can breathe without having their sounds change. Let me give you an example. Say letter L, the sound of it. So long as you have a breath, you can continue saying it. So that's a continuous sound. There are 10 continuous sounds in English and they are M, S, F, L, R, N, V, W, Y, and Z. 10. Stop sounds on the other hand sometimes are called blocked sounds and sometimes are called plosive sounds are 11 in English and those are the sounds that you make by doing two actions here in this area of articulation of pro pronouncing uh, sounds. First you block the air or you stop the air and then you release the air or let it go. So don't forget for stop sounds there are two actions. Number one you stop or block and then release stop release two actions so let's try and pronounce t so how do we say it we say that's the hold t and then that's the release so t is a stop sound let me say all 11 b s d g h j K, P, K, and this K is different from the first one. The first one is for letter K and the second one is for letter Q. T and X. You might find it interesting that the letters T and D or the sounds T and D are special. How? If they come at the end of a word and there is nothing after that word, then you don't pronounce them very clearly. Let's take an example. Say the word that. Notice that I said that, not that. Say the word mad. This is crazy. Notice that I didn't say mad. I said mad. So that, mad. So, we have continuous sounds and we have stop sounds. So now, let's talk about continuous sounds. And here's a rule. If the first word ends in a continuous sound, one of the ten, 
and the one after it starts with a consonant continuous or stop it doesn't matter then we link both words and we say them as if they were one word so let's look at the words promise and me promise ends in s and me starts in ma both are consonants and the s sound is a continuous sound so when we say these words back to back quickly we say them like one word so we say promise me promise me we don't say promise me we don't stop in the middle we say them like they are one word promise me you will watch all my videos another example we have will like we will abbreviated will come when we say them again back to back we don't say will come we will we say will come like will come with you to the party will come with you not will come with you to the party nah we say them like one word so here is the rule again for continuous sounds if we have a word that finishes with a continuous sound and the word after it starts with a consonant sound any consonant sound be it stop sound or continuous sound it doesn't matter then we say the two words as if they were one word you got it now let's move on to stop sounds when we have two words the first word finishes with stop consonant and the word after it starts with a consonant it can be a continuous consonant or a stop consonant it doesn't matter when the first word finishes with a stop sound then how can we link the two words i will tell you we pronounce the first word and when we come to the stop sound what do we do the two actions that we said you hold and then you release but because you want to link you only hold and when you release you don't say the stop sound you actually pronounce the sound of the letter that starts the word the second word let me give you an example and things will become clear the two words cab like taxi cab driver we have cab and driver the b is a stop sound and driver is a consonant right so when we say them back to back quickly we say cab driver now notice how i stopped before pronouncing the b and when i released i didn't actually pronounce the b i pronounced the d for driver so i'll say it again cab driver cab driver now notice we don't separate them and pronounce the b completely so we don't say cab driver nah wrong and we don't drop the b altogether so we ignore it we don't say cab driver cab driver no so it's cab driver here's another example the words keep and walking keep finished with pa and walking starts with w when we say them quickly back to back we say keep walking keep walking so i stopped the pa and when i release the air i said the w keep walking we don't drop the pa altogether so we don't say keep walking and we don't pronounce it completely hold it and release it as a pa so we don't say keep walking keep walking both are wrong so it's keep walking now the two stop sounds t and d are a bit special in english because there are many ways of pronouncing them but I, what i want you to know is that they're not pronounced really clearly right when when they are followed by other consonants so we say good morning notice good and morning good morning it and was becomes it was it was it was that and man becomes that man 
and good job becomes good job. Notice they're not pronounced very clearly. So ta and da, watch for those. Now to summarize, when you have two words and you want to link them and the first word ends in a consonant and the second word starts with a consonant, look at the first word, the end of the first word. Now you need to know whether it's a stop sound, a stop consonant or a continuous consonant. If it's a continuous consonant, then you just say it with the consonant after it like they are one word. And if it's a stop consonant, then you stop its sound and when you release its sound, you release it pronouncing the consonant after it actually. All right, so you got that. Next time, inshallah, which is after two weeks, by the way, um, we will talk about linking vowels to consonants. And two weeks after that, I will summarize all the videos about linking into in one video, which will be the fifth video. Now, if you found this video beneficial, don't forget to share it. And I will be happy to receive your comments below. Thank you very much and bye.